There we are. We've got an another herd of elephants. It's a sort of extended, vast herd, in fact. I think there are probably 50 animals along this road. Here's a young bull showing how very strong he is by following the female in front of him. Not sure how she impressed how impressed she is with the situation. Abigail, you're wondering about big tusked elephants and if there are any in the Kruger Park. Abigail, there are not what you might call well, I mean, they're one or two sort of super tuskers, if you like, or hundred pounders. And of course, this has come about, this whole discussion of big tuskers has come about on the back end of the poaching of that beautiful elephant in Savo National Park. Um, and the discussion around sort of hunting them, and because it's still quite absolutely astoundingly there are still people who think it's acceptable to pay money to h supposedly legally hunt super-tusked elephants. And so that's why they're called hundred-pounders, that they're born of hundred-pound tusks on each side. There are a few of them left in the Kruger, not many, and it, when they are found, they're generally kept fairly secretly hidden because we don't want poachers or hunters, frankly, to know about them. And interestingly, the reserve to the north of the Manuleti has managed to court itself some tremendously uh, bad publicity by securing a quota to hunt a super tusker. And it's managed to get itself, I'm sure, more negative publicity than it's had over the last oh, 20 or 30 years. Let's move a little bit forward. I've read somewhere that, I mean, oh, in a few places, that there are only sort of 25 or 30 super tuskers left. And that's, of course, because of hunting. Not so much hunting now, but hunting during a, oh, only six in the Kruger Park, says Tristan, of, of the super tuskers. Um, shall we do the ones on the road? Okay, let's do the ones on the road. I'm just going to sneak a little bit forward. And interestingly, you know, the big thing is now, people are under the impression, and uh, Mr. Dix is only six in the world, that's interesting. So 600 pounds is left in the world. And Tristan is obviously watching the drive. Hello, Tristan. Um, I'm just going to ease up here. There are quite a few elephants. The impression has been created that elephants and big tuskers specifically are in danger from poachers. And yes, they're in danger from poachers, of course. But of course, the whole reason that we have this dearth of genetics that create or, um, uh, what do I want to say here? The whole reason that there are no, there are far fewer big tuskers than there used to be is because of European settlement in this area and in East Africa. Because when European settlers arrived with their guns, they, of course, the big tuskers were the first animals they shot. They shot them all out, which means their genetics disappeared as well. And so the genetics for big tusks have all but disappeared. And yet still, we think it's acceptable to sell hunting quotas for these huge tusked animals. It is quite astonishing. And yet again, it is the local people who have almost no effect on the sort of big tusked animals, if you like, on any of the animals out here. They're the ones who are going to end up suffering because the negative publicity is going to affect tourism, which is going to affect them. That's interesting. We've got some impala alarm calling to the left. It was just two sharp snorts. Maybe it's just sort of the beginning of a rutting call. Hmm. They've stopped. Wonderful. I think there are 50 animal, animals strewn along this road. 
big ones, little ones, fat ones, thin ones. And this will be an outlying group of bulls, young bulls who are a bit too cool for school, don't want to be hanging around too much with the youngsters and of course resting the trust the tongue that's called trunk isn't it Brian yeah you sure yeah yeah the white thing's the tusk yes yes resting the trunk like that is a sign that this elephant has been awake probably for quite a long time and is just a little bit tired and when they sleep that's what they do they just let that concertina muscle or the group of concertina muscles inside the trunk relax and they put them down on the ground like that and then they doze off and I'm sure many of you would have read that site, that study about elephant sleep. Uh, he just put a little marula fruit in his mouth there. Just have a little bit of a suck. They sleep, as we suspected, for less time than any land-based mammal, we think, and for a maximum of three hours in a 24-hour period. An average, sorry, of three hours in a 24-hour period. Which of course is uh, not a long time. Yeah, elephants. You asking the question have was exactly what I was saying. You were saying have elephant tusks got smaller as a result of human hunting? Definitely, they most certainly have, because it's. I mean, it's, it's actually it's selective pressure. That's how evolution works. It's been a massive disadvantage to elephants to have big tusks in the face of human hunting. And so elephants with smaller tusks have been left alone, and they have therefore perpetuated their genetics, whereas those with big tusks have been shot out, and with their deaths, so their genetics have died as well. Now, does that make a difference to elephants as a population? No, it probably doesn't. Elephants get on, seem to get on just as well with small or big tusks. It's just sad that that's what it's come to, that we have wiped out a whole section of the population of this magnificent animal simply because we think it looks nice on our pianos or as carvings on our mantelpieces. Well, I don't really know how to answer that question. You say, how often do super tuskers die as a result of hunting versus natural causes? There's so few super tuskers left that it's impossible to say, I'm afraid, Bill. You know, most elephants that are hunted, and there are thousands hunted every year, are small tuskers like these chaps here. I just cannot understand the logic of it, I must confess to you. I know that I will be preaching to the choir here. But the logic of wanting to put a bullet in the back of one of these animals' heads just really uh, beggars belief to my mind. <laughs> 